The Kid, Anthony A, Dana Cortez Show, Euphoria Music, Euphoria Lounge. You see it. We're mobile. We're out. People are blessing their past mount. Raspa's right here. <laughs> Live from Jambalaya. Without further ado, all the way from Florida, Ski Mask, the Slump God. You already, know what it, you already know what it is. You heard that aggressive ass sneeze. My name <laughs> we sneeze hard over here. My name is Ski Mask, the Slump God. You watching Disney Channel. No, I'm playing. <laughs> you know I, mean? I want to talk about the Book of Eli. I want to talk about the artwork. I want to talk about the artwork. Okay. What's the inspiration behind that and all that good stuff too, bro? I saw. I like the book. Reminded me of my childhood. Yeah. What's the what's, what's the what's the story behind the background? Oh. Water. Um. But I have to say ad lib real quick. Um. The artwork behind. Oh. <laughs> You're open to ad lib anytime throughout the rest of this interview you want. Water. Open ad lib. So, right. Water. Um. So basically. What did you ask me again? Uh, the, the artwork for the uh, Book of Eli. Where did that come from, bro? The artwork from the Book of Eli came from, uh, I guess you could say, like a long thought process of like meditation and sitting and thinking of what I would want it to be. Mm -hmm. So basically, it's like a children's book. Like, I wanted it to give you memories of something that you would off rip enjoy. Like, um, I used to read this children's book that was about a little kid being bad all the time. He had a bald head, sharp teeth. You guys probably seen it. Children's books always bring me joy, you feel me? So that's where it came from. But beware the Book of Eli. The Book of Eli is also a movie, but the Book of Eli is supposed to stand for the Bible. But my tape is called Beware the Book of Eli. There's a lot of uh, false things going on in the religion and stuff like that, you know what I mean? So it's like beware of the Bible or certain things in the Bible. Now, this is what a lot of people want to know. We've seen you post this week. They you know, know it, 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 we've seen uh, the Lyrical Lemonade post go up too. Yep. Which we're there for, and I, then I, I went to check my SoundCloud, yeah. and then we also got the snippet of the Diddy cut. I want to talk about that. What's that? What's the name of that song again? He Diddy. He Diddy. He Diddy. What's the mo Did you? What was that? Were you just watching that Bad Boy documentary and said this is what I'm gonna go with, or what's the, what the story behind that one? Woo. Sneezing like a water. Um, basically, I've always seen Diddy as a, like a boss from the jump start, like since the beginning of him working with Biggie. And like I was a big person on um, getting influenced by Biggie, so like P Diddy was always like in the picture and like that. So basically, I live in New York now, and it was just about like I wanted to make a song about how I felt at the time, like angry, wanted to shit on people that didn't believe in me. And shit. So it was like I'm purging the city, he Diddy, because P Diddy be in the city. Um, stack up the Benjis, he Diddy, he Diddy, he Diddy, but his name not Diddy. I beat up the kitty. He did he, I pray, <laughs> you know what I mean? Now, everybody wants to know, do we have an update on the release date for Beware of the Book of Eli? I do have an update on the release date. My lawyer called me today, literally said for sure, it's today, it's um, the 11th. The 11th for sure. Um, the only songs that won't be on there is Boy Meets World. And that's because of the sample and certain different things. And that's May 11th? May 11th for sure. You heard it here, Jambalaya, Euphoria Lounge, Anthony A, Dana Cortez Show, Euphoria Music, Ski Mask, The Slump God, the most boss ass sneezer in your in life. Ashgat! Ashgat, let's go. <laughs>